What is happening guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel again right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. As promised, this time we're going to be talking a little bit more about suspension components. I did get my suspension stuff from a local distributor here. I like also to support some of the local people here and this guy does an awesome job for when we really need some aftermarket suspension components. So we're going to check that out and we're going to check out what I decided to go with for the truck. When I was thinking about suspension components, the same one kept on coming back to me over and over again. I kept on thinking to myself, you need something that's going to last. You need something that you can beat up, and you need something that looks hella good. I know the McGoys, they have a really nice product. I'm not going to say anything bad about them. Quite a few of the YouTubers, they use those. Rough Country, I know you guys like to use them. They're a little bit lower on the line that I wanted to use. Their warranty sometimes stinks to use, but you know, I'd rather have something that's gonna last a little bit longer. So I kept on coming back to the same one. I ended up going with BDS. I went with the BDS seven inch suspension lift kit and how I ended up specking it out was I went with the standard knuckles. I went with the dual stabilizers. I went with the uh, upgraded traction bars. These traction bars, you guys are going to have to see them to believe them. They're going to be an amazing upfit for this build. It's just what it's really going to need. I had to do the carrier bearing drop because I do have a two-piece drive shaft as normal. And I did upgrade to the Fox 2.0 suspension, which will keep her riding very nice going down any kind of terrain that I decided to go down. So I got a call from Jason over at Bad Attitude Off-Road in Sydney, Ohio. He's gonna be stopping by here with the lift kit here real soon, and we're gonna check that out. And this is what happens when you have another Christmas time. Bad Attitude Off-Road. These are the guys who are hooking me up with my lift kit. Let's see what kind of Christmas they brought me today. All kind of boxes here. So this is Jason. Jason, let us know what we kind of got working on here today. We've got a uh, BDS 7 inch lift kit uh, for the 01 to 10 Chevy 2500 with the Duramax four wheel drive. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got all the components. We've got Fox shocks. We've got steering stabilizer. Uh, a little bit of everything here. Looks like we even got the recoil traction bars. Yes, we Man. Do. This is a lot of really cool boxes in here to tell you is what. It's like Christmas all over again. Christmas we got dogs. Christmas with the wheels, the Christmas with the lift kit. So now guys, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, unboxing this stuff here for you. I'm gonna take some of the bigger components out and then uh, we're gonna get it over to the paint shop and they're gonna be uh, coating a couple of things. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be coating it with here soon. So after unloading all of the BDS components, we opened up all the boxes, went through the checklist and make sure everything was there. I would recommend that you guys always make sure you do that. Make sure you check your checklists, make sure all the components are there. There's the recoil spring. So we picked through a lot of these things because I really love the BDS suspension. I went with them because they're like top of the line they're the big boy suspension when it comes to really nice kits and i really really love their warranty as long as you are the original owner of these suspension components if you break it they will replace it they always say no fine print warranty you break it they replace it no questions asked and i have uh, sent something in before under warranty from them and there wasn't a single question asked other than where would you like us to send this to you sir so i can't complain about that one they're an awesome company so i had to go with them but i needed to make this suspension kit a little bit more mine so we picked through some of the bigger components here like the skid plates 
the BDS that's sticking through on that one, the other skid plate, and here amongst this we've got the two main bars and another cross beam bar. These are the five pieces that are most visible that you're going to see when you look at the suspension lift kit and you see that big Chevy 2500 sticking out all its suspension up in the air. So what we're going to do is I went and got another couple of another case of the Raptor by Upol Bedliner, the tenable stuff that we use to actually uh, coat the Duramax. I picked up this stuff right over here. Here is the Upol Raptor tenable bedliner kit that I ended up getting. We're probably gonna only going to end up using two, maybe three of these, more than likely two for just these suspension components to give them a little bit more of a unique look for the ride that I'm going to be going with, which is just a little bit more me. So again guys, this is Jason here with uh, Bad Attitude Off-Road. They're out of Sydney, Ohio. Check these guys out. Their phone number is right over here on the side of the truck, 937-524-5261. And he does distribution for all kinds of lift kits and different suspension components. He can piece anything together that you want. Make sure you guys give him a call and he will definitely hook you up and give you one of the most competitive prices around. That we can definitely guarantee. What other kind of things do you guys uh, deal with over at your shop? We do lift kits and all their components. We do brakes, wheels and tires exhaust systems, uh, 436 brands is what we're currently distributing. Uh, so we can do a little bit of everything, trucks, Jeeps, uh, even muscle cars. We do some muscle car exhaust systems, suspension components, things like that. If you want to lower your car instead of lifting it, uh, you know that's an option too. Uh, check out the website also, www.badattitudeoffroad.com. All right, thank you, Jason. We thank really you. appreciate everything you've appreciate done for us. Business. All right, stay tuned, guys. We'll get more of this in and uh, we'll take this across the street to get coded. All right guys, I'm back in the truck here. We just got the uh, suspension parts all dropped off over to Rob over at First Choice Paint and Body. He's the same guy who did the uh, truck bed liner paint job that I did for the Raptor liner. So I trust him. He's going to do an awesome job with the suspension components. Um, not going to show you guys that yet. Uh, we'll make a couple of different videos of this one just because it's going to spread out over the next week or so. The lift kit is actually very, I guess, intricate. It takes quite a bit of extra labor stuff that I'm not really uh, fond of. I don't do welding. I suck at it. I'm not going to be the, you know, the guy who pretends, oh yeah, I could muddle my way through it. Yeah, I'd look like a three-year-old throw a crayon pack at it. Not going to do it. So rather than just pay somebody to come into my shop and do it, I'm going to take it to a couple of buddies of mine who are very, very good at doing these lift kits already. So they're going to help me out. I'm going to kind of have a little bit of hands on here and there on helping them with it. But the guy over at XDP Performance, uh, they are over in Fairborn. We are going to be dropping that off to them to be able to do that uh, coming this week. So there will be a couple more videos on it. Look for the truck to be done in about a week, week and a half, right around there. So we'll be timing the videos right around that point. So one of the things I wanna hear from you guys is I wanna hear some discussion about uh, what kind of lift kits you went with on your vehicles. Whether you had good choices and good things with uh, BDS who I'm using this time, or you think that Another manufacturer is just the cat's ass and when it comes to uh, the lift kits. Make sure you leave a couple of comments down below and uh, we'll talk about that here coming up. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Make sure you guys go and check out the other couple of my sponsors from this video. Jason over at Bad Attitude uh, Off-Road. He is an amazing guy who will hook you up with any lift kit, accessories, parts that you heard earlier in the video. Go check out web his website. The website will be down in the description below. Give him a check out. And from my previous video, I'll put the link down in the description for Rob over at First Choice Paint and Body. If you were in the uh, Dayton Piqua area in Ohio and would like one of the Raptor, uh, the Raptor liner paint jobs done to your vehicle or certain components done for your vehicle. Thanks for stopping into the channel again today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that little icon bell so you get notified when I come out with awesome, cool content for you guys to enjoy. Thank you, and you guys stay awesome.